Hello friends, my name's Elsa and I'm here to read you a story today called The Biggest Best Snowman. Olaf doesn't like this book too much because he thinks he's the biggest best snowman, but it's one of my favorites, so I hope you enjoy it. Little Nell lived with Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie in a big house in a big snowy woods. Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie had big blustery voices. They had big talky friends. They had big loud parties. When Little Nell asked, can I help? Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie shook their heads. No, you can't, they said. You are too small. Yes, I can, said Little Nell, and no, I'm not. No, you can't, they said, and yes, you are. Poor Little Nell. So Little Nell would go into the big snowy woods. She would sit and watch the snow fall from the sky. She would walk under the bare branch trees. She would play with her friends, reindeer, hare, and bear cub. One day, bear cub said to little Nell, can you show us how to make a snowman? No, I can't, said little Nell. I'm too small. Yes, you can, said the animals, and no, you're not. But I'm so small, said little Nell. My family won't let me do anything. I could never make a snowman. How do you know unless you try? asked Bear Cub. We'll help you. Little Nell sighed. Well, maybe, she said. Little Nell got down on her hands. She carefully... Little Nell got down on her knees. She carefully patted and matted and batted the snow into a tiny ball. She rolled it and rolled it and rolled it to reindeer. Reindeer nudged it and nudged it and nudged it to Hare. Hare kicked it and kicked it and kicked it to Bear Cub. Bear Cub rolled it and rolled it and rolled it until it stopped, thud, by the edge of a big icy pond. Now what? asked Reindeer. The snowman needs a knit middle, said Little Nell. How do we do that? asked Hare. Little Nell bit her lip. She got down on her knees. She carefully patted and matted and batted another tiny snowball. She rolled it and rolled it to Reindeer. Reindeer nudged it and nudged it to Hare. Hare kicked it and kicked it to Bear Cub. And Bear Cub rolled it and rolled it until, thud, it came to a stop. He pushed it on top of the other snowball. Now what? he asked. It needs a head, cried Little Nell. She patted and matted and batted another tiny snowball. Then she rolled it to Reindeer. Reindeer nudged it to Hare. Hare kicked it to Bear Cub. Bear Cub stuck it on top of the other two snowballs. Little Nell and the animals stood back and looked at their snowman. Something's missing, said Hare. The face, said Little Nell. How do we do that, asked the animals. I think we'll need help, said Little Nell. She whistled for the birds to come. Crow, Cardinal, and Sparrow flew down from the trees. Can you make a face for our snowman, she asked. Crow fetched two pieces of bark for the eyes. Cardinal found an old pink sock for the nose. And Sparrow brought raisins for the mouth. Little Nell handed her green scarf to the birds. They wound it and wound it and wound it around the snowman's nest. Then they added two sticks for arms. The snowman was finally finished. Little Nell and the animals gazed up at their creation. Wow, said the animals. Wow, said Little Nell. It was almost lunchtime. Little Nell said goodbye to her friends. She walked home through the big snowy woods. Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie were waiting for her. Where have you been? they asked in their big blustery voices. I was building a great big snowman, answered little Nell. How could someone as little as you build a great big snowman? asked big Lizzie. Come and see, said little Nell. 
So Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie followed Little Nell through the big snowy woods to the snowman. As they looked up, their mouths dropped open and their arms dropped to their sides. Wow, they said, you built that? Yes, I did, said Little Nell, with the help of my friends. That is the biggest, best snowman that ever was, said Big Mama. Yes, it is, said Little Nell, a huge smile on her face. Will you come and help us make a big yummy lunch? asked Big Sarah. No, she can't, said Big Lizzie. She's still too small. Yes, I can, said Little Nell, and no, I'm not. Yes, you can, said Big Mama, and yes, you will. Big Mama gave Little Nell a big sloppy kiss. Smooch! Big Sarah gave Little Nell a big squeeze. Ouch! And Big Lizzie stuck her big nose in the air. Hmm. Little Nell's friends lifted her to the top of the snowman. Hooray! Wasn't that a good book, Olaf? It makes me really want to play in the snow. Do you think I should? All right, gonna let it snow. Oh, bye you guys.